Hello, good day everyone. This tutorial will focus on how to upload leads effectively on the Nextiva CRM. So first, what we have to do is click on the administration tools on the upper right corner. And then, we'll just have to go scroll down over to the right. Click on data migration and integrations. Click on spreadsheet. Scroll down, click on leads. And then click choose a file. But before that, click on template so that we'll have a, a template of the CSV file that we need to upload onto the system. Open the downloaded file. Let's rename this one accordingly. Once we have our template here, we just copy the leads that we have and the needed columns that we need to paste onto the template. There. The important column here is the owner. And by owner, it would mean by email. The template that we'll be uploading is around 3,000 rows or 3,000 records. Or rather, let's try uploading 4,000 records instead. Now we're done with the template. We go back to data migrations and integrations. Instead of clicking on spreadsheet, we hit on view recent imports. Instead of import data, click on export data. Earlier what we've shown is the new interface of Nextiva. It's a little, a little bit buggy, so we'll just have to use the old interface under manage data or migrate data. There we will click on import. Now we're on the old interface. Insert the description accordingly and then enter the table name called lead and match the entries by entry number or by ID number whichever is your um, key field or key column. Once the file is done processing, click on next on the lower part of the, the page. Scroll down, check that your columns or fields are mapped accordingly. If not, select the columns that is appropriate to the matching columns inside the database. Look for the owner field. And that is where we will be 
matching all of our records or leads in your CSV file by owner. If you don't do this, the, the leads that are uploaded inside the Nextiva CRM will not have any owner. Instead, you'll be assigning them manually on the system once the file has been uploaded. It's kind of a hassle because you can only bulk edit by 100, but if you're gonna do this uh, bulk upload, you can do as much how, uh, how many records you can. So for example, if you have 4,000 leads to upload, you can assign 4,000 leads at a time when you upload using the data migration. Once you have the file uploaded, let's go back to the CRM dashboard and click on the leads page. It's on the lower left part of the page. It's indicated by the three dashes. So to check if your leads have been uploaded, we hit on the key field. Right, right now on this example, it's called entry num. We just look for 12711. It's named William. And if we're gonna search for this person inside the leads table, it should be there. There you go. It's William Simmons. I hope this was informative to you. Thank you again for watching. See you next time.